All right, man, there you have it, my three best and worst foods to eat to lose body fat after 40. If you wanna have a lean, hard midsection, there are three foods you should try to eat every day. And there are three foods you should make sure you are avoiding. Quickly, before I get into the foods, there is something you need to make sure you're doing if you want any results at all. You need to be consistently eating in a caloric deficit. The bottom line for losing weight is you need to consistently be in that calorie deficit, whether it's every day or at the end of the week. You build that deficit through conscious eating, cardio, and strength training. Also, make sure your workouts and nutrition are conducive to building more muscle. Muscle helps you burn more calories throughout the day. The more lean muscle tissue you have on your body, the more fat you're gonna burn. More muscle equals a faster metabolism. And to lose fat consistently, you need your metabolism to burn as many calories as possible. All right, that leads me to the next key, and that is consistency. Getting your body primed for fat loss doesn't happen overnight. It's gonna take time, consistent modification, some tough workouts, and probably rumbling stomachs. And you also must be ready to adapt. Fat loss is up to you. It isn't easy, but you control whether it happens or not. No one else is dieting and working out with your body or goals in mind. When obstacles arise, which they will, that's when you need to be ready to adapt, pivot, and find a way to make it work. Losing fat isn't starving yourself and powering through workouts. It's about being smart and making conscious decisions, whether they are planned or not. Now onto the list. One of the worst types of foods and something you should avoid at all costs is sugary beverages, man. Not only do they add up to extra calories, but they have zero nutritional value. Sugary drinks have also been linked to several unhealthy diseases, such as excess fat accumulation, obesity, type two diabetes, heart disease, kidney diseases, and tooth decay. They can also lead to other cravings. So when you drink a sugary beverage, you're more likely to start reaching for foods that aren't good for your fat loss efforts or your health. Okay, before I get into the second worst food, I wanna tell you about Testo Greens, man. As I go through this list, you'll notice vegetables are not one of the best foods you can eat to burn fat. That's because eating too many veggies, which are loaded with fiber, can cause bloating. With that said, fiber and veggies are still crucial for a healthy diet. They're loaded with micronutrients, so you can still get the micronutrient benefits of the veggies through Testo Greens. Testo Greens contains servings of fruits and veggies without the extra calories or the fiber. Just one scoop of this flavored greens powder and you'll get the same vital benefits and some other testosterone boosting benefits. All right, now for the second worst food on my list, man, that's chips. Snacky foods like chips are easy to eat and they don't fill you up. You can probably go through a whole bag and you still won't feel full. Plus, they get the cravings going even more and make you thirsty. And most of the time, guys don't eat a bag of chips with a glass of water. It's usually with beer or soda or something that'll add even more calories, which will eventually cause more belly fat. Chips are also high in sodium. Too much sodium can lead to other unhealthy problems. Most chips have a high fat content as well, and I'm not talking about the healthy fat you get from eating nuts, I'm talking about the dangerous trans fats. All right, now I'm probably going to surprise you with this last food on my list. It's peanut butter, man. Peanuts aren't bad for you in moderation, but you need to be mindful when it comes to peanut butter. Peanut butter is filled with sugar and oils that damage testosterone levels. Plus, if you're making a peanut butter sandwich or dipping apples in peanut butter, most guys use a lot more peanut butter than they think, which can add up to hundreds of more calories in one sitting. I recommend natural peanut butter for my heart gainers who find it near impossible to gain weight. However, when your goal is fat loss, this isn't the best food choice. In the fitness world, peanut butter is huge. Here's what the everyday person doesn't understand though. A lot of guys in the fitness community who are fitness buffs eat a lot of natural peanut butter. The difference though is these people usually burn a ton of calories through extreme workouts and typically eat perfectly the majority of the time. This means they know the exact number of calories they're consuming daily and the exact number of calories they're burning each day. 
When you do this, then you can calculate the amount of peanut butter you can fit into your daily macronutrient intake. This is something you probably aren't doing, nor do you even want to do. For this reason, peanut butter is one of the worst food choices you can make when you're trying to lose more fat. Before I give you the three best food choices, I want you to understand that when it comes to being a man over 50, testosterone is king. Low T levels can cause problems like low energy, excess belly fat, and libido issues. While high body fat can lead to excess estrogen production, so can eating the wrong foods. Try to avoid processed foods and alcohol. Processed foods don't provide any real nutritional value. They taste good while you're eating them, but they cause inflammation, clog your arteries, and cause a dip in energy. These foods contribute to excess body fat and higher estrogen levels. As for alcohol, a glass of alcohol a day isn't going to hurt you. However, excess alcohol directly impacts your testosterone levels. It causes inflammation and adds empty calories that can be stored as estrogen increasing excess belly fat. Okay, now let's move on to the best food choices. Number one is white fish. This includes fish like flounder, cod, and tilapia. Typically, white fish is very low in fat, but very high in protein. And even though dietary fats don't necessarily lead to you gaining body fat, dietary fats do add additional calories to your daily total. So even though a fish like salmon can help you get lean while building muscle, Whitefish are considered even leaner sources of protein. Whitefish also helps your body fight inflammation, helps keep your bones strong, and supports a healthy immune system. Now for the second food on my list, it's whole eggs, man. Whole eggs are very nutrient dense. Eggs are loaded with high quality protein, vitamin B12, selenium, phosphorus, and antioxidants, which helps keep your cells healthy. Eggs also have choline, which is a fat fighting nutrient. Eggs are one of the best sources of protein available because they contain all nine essential amino acids. Essential simply means that your body can't produce these amino acids on its own, so you have to get them through your diet intake. The egg yolks also aid in the production of testosterone, so eating more whole eggs can help boost your T levels. All right, now for my third recommended food, low-fat cottage cheese. One cup has only 150 calories and provides close to 30 grams of protein. It's also very satiating, which makes it a great food to eat when you get close to bedtime because it'll keep the late night cravings at bay. Cottage cheese is also packed with nutrients. It provides vitamin B12, selenium, riboflavin, calcium, and several other nutrients. You can also add some berries to this to load it up with antioxidants. All right, man, there you have it, my three best and worst foods to eat to lose body fat after 40. I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know what you think of these foods I chose for the list. And I'd also like to hear what foods you add to your meals to keep you on track with your fat loss goals. So make sure you put that in the comment section. With that said, get busy, get after it, and God bless, man.